so I know I might look a little funny today. I have my eye makeup done, my eyebrows done, but no face makeup on. So please forgive me. But today we're going to be doing a first time Thursday. So that's kind of why I have no face makeup on, you know? Um, I know I haven't done one of these in a couple of weeks and that's just mostly because of the fact that the last product I was hoping to do one of these on was the Benefit BB Air Patrol uh, eye primer. But what happened was that my shoppers was supposed to get it in on the, I think it was the 28th of August. So like it's been a while. Um, and I was hoping to do, because that was a Friday, I was hoping to have it for the next Thursday and like film it throughout the week and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I went there on the 28th to pick it up, which was the day that it was supposed to be released. And basically the girls at Shoppers just said, sorry, we didn't get it in. We were supposed to blah, blah, blah. Um, and I said, well, can you put me down on a list, like a call list? And they said, sure. So I was supposed to have a, um, uh, first time Thursday up that following Thursday still hadn't gotten a call so I called them and they said we have absolutely no idea when it's coming in I still haven't gotten a call so at this point I am pretty much just giving up um, and whenever it gets in it gets in and you guys will see that on my channel um, but for now I thought you know what I need to do first time Thursdays I've really enjoyed in these videos this week we're going to be doing one on the Maybelline Superstay Bitter Skin Foundation now the story behind this is that when I uploaded my I Hurt Drugstore makeup tag probably about a week two weeks ago um, there were so many people who responded because I basically basically said that I hated Maybelline foundations and basically Maybelline is a brand so I knew there would be a little backlash from that but mostly everyone was just saying you know what Maybelline foundations have changed so much they have a better shade selection they're not as orange you really need to try one because in their defense I haven't tried a Maybelline foundation in probably about two years somewhere around there just because the last time that I tried one and I used to try like every single Maybelline foundation because all my friends loved them um and I just, I hated them all. So I hated so many and they were so awful that I just didn't want to try another one. Um, but everyone told me that I had to go try this one. So that's why we're doing this one today. Just saying. So I have the shade 110 Porcelain Ivory. I don't know if you guys can see that there. So 110 Porcelain Ivory. And this was about $13.99 at my local London Drugs. I did check um, Walmart Superstore, which is like my grocery store, but they carry a lot of um, makeup brands, and then Shoppers as well. And none of them had this foundation yet. So I ended up ordering it online from London Drugs. <laughs> Even though I have a London Drugs pretty close to me, it's just kind of inconvenient. It's like right in like the office center of town when I never go there so ordering online and having it here in three or four days is a lot more convenient anyway um, I did order the order the lightest shade 10 porcelain ivory is the lightest by the way um, and this does look a lot more yellow than other Maybelline foundations that I've tried so that's good that's a good first start does look a little dark though but we'll see we'll, we'll see I'm going in open-minded We'll, we'll see. Let's just pray to God that this <laughs> turns out to be a good one. So anyway, I'm going to be using two different uh, ways to put this on my face today. I'm going to be using my brush. This is my uh, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I believe. Yep, Expert Face Brush. This is my favorite foundation brush right now. As you guys know, this is like my holy grail brush. But this is my holy grail foundation applicator in general, which is a damp Real Techniques a beauty sponge. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to be doing this for half of my face and then the brush for the other half just to see if there's a difference in application. Um, also, the last foundation video I did, I had a few people say that they didn't want me to use primer. So I'm not going to be using primer anymore. Um, just to, just as a matter of fact kind of thing, I'm not going to be using primer anymore. Um, and then I'm not going to set it with powder. So let's see how this applies. Welcome to my face! So I just took a little bit of this on the back of my hand and I'm just going to be applying this with the brush first. Now this does look a lot more yellow under, a uh, lot more yellow than usual. I do have a slight yellow undertone to my skin so that's why this is important for me. Um, just saying, I don't know why I had to tell you guys that because of course you can see it. Um, but let's just get started on the application. Okay. So first shot. This does seem like a pretty good match. I will give them that. Maybelline, you have upped your ways. Um, I'm going to need another pump though. I don't know how much, how many pumps I'm going to need of this. This seems like to be eating my foundation. My foundation brush was newly clean though, so it might, I know that 
it does take a little bit more sometimes. So. Huh. Okay. Now, the coverage seems to be pretty light. Like, to be honest, I'm putting it over, like, some of my acne marks. So third pump now for just one half of my face. Um, I'm going to just see if I can build this up a bit because I have covered most of my face except for like half of my nose. Um, but I just, I want to see how, if this can be built up at all because like it, you can still see a lot of my acne marks. You can't really, it didn't really cover a whole lot. So let's see here now. Let's see if it, whoa, girl, get on your half. You're taking up the other half here. can be built up a whole lot to be honest it kind of seems like if you put on more you just end up moving around moving it around more than anything else so I used up about two and a half pumps for this side with the brush let's see how much the beauty sponge takes so got my beauty sponge I'm just gonna use up the last of this other half of a pump and see how that goes Okay, so this is like one and a half now. Okay, and it seems to be going on sheerer with the beauty sponge. I forgot. Okay. And on the ears too. Okay, on the ears too. Okay. Okay. So this is the foundation up close. Sorry guys. This is the foundation up close. You can see it hadn't cut it still hasn't covered any of my acne marks super well. Like this is an active breakout. Um and then this one up here is also, both of them are left pretty uncovered to be honest with you. Um, didn't cover a lot, whole lot of under eye circles um, either. I used, uh, when it came down to like blending down the neck as well, I ended up using about three pumps for the brush and then about two pumps for the uh, beauty sponge. You do use less with the beauty sponge, but to me it gave pretty much the same result. Overall review, first impression type thing. Um, great color match, I will give them that. I'm about an NC20 in MAC, so you can kind of suit yourself with that. Um, it did match pretty well. I did blend it down my neck though. It does look a little, maybe a little bit too yellow. Um, I, I don't know. And I also don't know if this is gonna oxidize, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm not going to set it with powder because that's just what you guys thought would be best. So we'll see how this goes throughout the day. Right now it's about 2.30, so I know it's a little late, um, but I do stay up late, so, well, sometimes. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I really don't like the fact that I have to go around the whole day with like my under eye circles not covered and like acne not covered. But anyway, not a big deal, not the end of the world. But this is, right now, my thoughts on this foundation are is that it's okay. It's not my favorite. It might be nice for every day because right now like it doesn't feel... <laughs> I'm making weird faces. Um, it, it doesn't feel like sticky or tacky on my face. I say if I set this with a powder, it would actually be a really nice everyday sort of feel. Um, cause it, I find that like some heavier foundations do feel pretty thick. Um, 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, it's right now my thing is okay. Like I oh I forgot to tell you guys the claims. So anyway, um, it is the first foundation for all day color wear with Atelic, known for its antioxidant benefits. Um, skin looks better and trans better and transformed in three weeks. So it's supposed to have like agents in it to make your skin look better. Reduces the look of spots, dullness, and redness. And then it's suitable for sensitive skin. So I do have sensitive skin, so I can vouch for sensitive skin. Didn't irritate my skin. Would I say that it gets rid of redness, spots, and stuff? No. Um, I can still see tons of redness, tons of spots, tons of dark under eye circles. So I wouldn't say that. Um, and then as for the all day wear, we will see. I'll check out with you guys in a few hours. So this is in some different lighting just because I came downstairs. This is about 15, 20 minutes after the horse portion, by the way. I just came downstairs to kind of look at it in the big bathroom mirror just to see how I like it. It does look a little too light for me, which is so weird with Maybelline foundations. Um, nothing too crazy though. Um, and yeah, same thing like I said upstairs, not really covering a lot of the acne, not good with the under eye or even the redness on the inner parts of my cheeks. It didn't really cover and I don't have particularly red cheeks. Um, so that was kind of weird. It does feel like it might set to a decent finish. So that's good. Um, I just thought I'd give you an update in like some different lighting. So there we go. See you guys in a couple hours. Hey guys, so it is currently about three hours after my last update. It's currently like 5.45, 5.42, something like that. Um, and I thought I'd leave you in the last place that I was, which was in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> currently I'm just waiting for Lane to get home so we can go down to the hospital to get a shot for me. Um, but I just thought I'd update you guys on the foundation beforehand. Um, basically, um, I haven't seen it wearing away too, too much, which is actually really incredible for the fact that I didn't powder on top. Um, my, like, sorry, I'm leaning into the mirror, not into you guys. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but like it is kind of, my pores are a little bit more pronounced than when we first put it on. There are like, uh, my nose, it's starting to wear off like a little bit. Um, but other than that, the coverage has stayed about the same. Still not covering up, well, of course, it's not gonna cover up any of my acne marks and it still hasn't, well, it hasn't worn off anymore in those areas because it wasn't there to begin with. Um, I have noticed a lot of creasing underneath my eyes because I did put some underneath my eyes. So uh, obviously it doesn't work too well unless you're gonna set it underneath the eyes, even if you're not gonna put under eye concealer on, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, like really, I just have this weird texture all over my face. Like my whole face, you can just see like every little pore, like the foundation really hasn't sunken into the skin a lot. Um, it did a little better on this side than this side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has. So we'll see how it goes by the end of the night. Um, just right now, I just noticed that like it hasn't settled like, and it never did settle on this side with the brush, whereas it did on this side with the beauty sponge. So I'll see you guys in another couple hours. Hey everyone, sorry if I don't seem the most upbeat right now. I'm actually not feeling the best at all. I'm actually in a lot of pain. So uh, I just wanna do a quick update for you guys. It is currently 8.41. Sorry, I, you can't really see it with my background, but it's currently 8.41. So I've had this foundation on for about six hours now and I am about to wash it off. So sorry, I know this isn't really a realistic full day, <laughs> but this is a full day for me. So I just thought I'd give you guys an update on how the foundation's doing. Welcome to my face. So as you might be able to tell, the foundation is really creased underneath my eyes, um, which is normal, I didn't set it. Um, it's really worn off on the face with the beauty sponge, well, on the face, on the side of the face with the beauty sponge, but it's also wiped off, well not wiped off, but worn off on the side without it as well. Um, Realistically, a lot of my redness is shown through. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Like when you look at me, like honestly, I can't even tell that I'm wearing foundation other than like this part of my face. Like literally like right here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. As an overall review, uh, I think this foundation is pretty damn okay. Like it's, 
it's not the most amazing foundation I've ever tried but at the same time I think for the next one of these even though you guys really didn't like it with the powder I think I will do want do it with the powder from now on or at least do like one day without powder one day with because for me this is completely unrealistic I do not go a day without setting my foundation so to try it without the powder is just really weird like of course to me like I'm looking at it and I'm like of course it's gonna wear off it wasn't set properly so I don't know I I kind of like it it's I think it'd be okay for like every day kind of ish, ish thing um, I wouldn't say it would be like the amazing like full coverage great foundation that you want and I wouldn't definitely wouldn't say this is like a 12 hour foundation or super stay as Maybelline likes to call it um, I definitely wouldn't say this like lasts and lasts and lasts I say if you set it with a powder it could probably last for like eight hours or so max um, which is you know average for a foundation they have fixed their coloring so I am really happy about that that it is more yellow toned and that it can fit more people's skin tones than just like bright orange um, so that's great I, the color matched really well um, I just for me it would be more of like an everyday foundation like it wouldn't be so much of like a oh I'm gonna put this on and my skin's gonna look flawless it's one of those foundations that you definitely need to wear concealer with that you're definitely gonna need to set like it's just it's your average foundation <laughs> So that's kind of my review on it. It's not amazing, but then again, it's not like crappy either. Like it's just right in the middle. It's average. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I, I enjoyed getting back into my first time Thursdays. It was really fun. Uh, make sure to comment down below if you guys have any more suggestions for first time Thursdays because I love doing these videos. Basically, they're just first impressions videos. So I, I really enjoy them. They're quite not just easy to do but they're very fun because you get to try out new products on camera so I love it um, so uh, comment down below if you guys have any other product suggestions or tell me how you like this video do you guys think I should still do without the primer and powder like what do you guys think because I really think I should do it with the powder because I've always set my foundation with a powder and to me it's not a realistic trial because I, I always set my foundation with a powder <laughs> so um just tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would definitely make my day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.